Hey there, welcome to Zane Investing again. You'll be looking at AMC Entertainment's ticker symbol, AMC, as well as APE. In this video, we will examine the AMC's fake news, how AMC will hit the $41 level, which may prove to be a significant turning point for MC, and how we may retest that level will be evaluated. This film will also examine a relationship between corporations that control over 24 million shares of AMC and their connection with Citadel, among other connections. Ensure that you watch till the very end. Now, we have actually discussed the AMC chart, so if you are interested in viewing it, feel free to watch our prior video in which we explain what happened over the week and what we should anticipate. And if you are trading based on what to anticipate in the future, there will be a video on what I anticipate for the upcoming week posted between tomorrow and Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. Now, let's examine the initial bit of news. So this is from the Magic 8 Ball. We discussed fake news. Retailers are retaining AMC and purchasing the dip. They want you to purchase either their ETFs or Apple. The article with the heading The Retail Investors Turned to ETFs as Recession Fears Grew is essentially what we're looking at here. Decrease Meme Stocks First, I want to emphasize that there are, in fact, recession fears, but that the rumor that individuals are converting them into ETFs and selling them as meme stocks is absolutely false, as I will demonstrate later. Later in the article, among the topics they are discussing are of course, why they sell it, what they then purchase, and the possible reasons why they sell their shares. Discussing the rapid increase in borrowing costs, everyone who has been following AMC knows that borrowing costs actually benefit us because it prevents us from acquiring more shares to demonstrate against us. Not only that, but the reason for the abrupt increase in borrowing costs was the exposure of tokenized shares to tokenized shares. This FTX can no longer be utilized against us. All of these uncovered facts rendered brokers unable to locate shares, resulting in an increase in borrowing prices. Consequently, if you examine this essay, you'll notice that we've already discussed what they've discussed. Therefore, if you are current, you will realize that this report was false. But let's begin with the first matter. Now, let's discuss the fact that retails are turning their backs on AMC, as is obvious. They are sending AMC and receiving ETFs. Now, it may be true that there are retail investors who purchase EDFs. That will always be absolutely typical. But turning their backs on AMC, when you examine OBV, which is the on-balance volume, and you comprehend what is occurring, the amount of OBV is relatively unchanged. There are ups and downs, but when viewed in context or prior to June or even January of 2021, we can see that the level is extremely high. And since hitting the pinnacle of coming in at $72 pre, the split with AP AMC OBV level is essentially identical with a small variation. As a result, it is clear that there were minuscule numbers of people who sold their AMC shares. However, investors as a whole, particularly over the past few weeks and even months, remain relatively stagnant. You certainly can, will be completely transparent here. Obviously, there are spikes here, which is why I'm referring to the possibility that some people are leaving. But when compared to what it has always been, it is extremely stagnant and this is the first thing they mention when discussing people leaving AMC. Now, one of the reasons why we believe that they are, of course, making up news stories about why they want you to believe that people are leaving is that their newsmaking ideas suggest that people are leaving. And is because of the possibility of you guys selling your shares. Keep in mind that there are long synthetics on AMC, but early AMC supporters have purchased the real shares. And in order to prevent these headphones from being damaged by these synthetics, apes must sell their real shares in order to cover their positions with real shares. And when they are able to do so, they will no longer be threatened by the short squeeze. Each and every week, this is what we see in the news. There have been reports of AMC's failure and bankruptcy, but the reality has been the exact reverse. The one thing they should surely cover as a potential incentive for individuals to sell is, of course, the manipulation of AMC. This abuse of dark pool, which we will discuss later in this video, etc., are the things that are harming AMC, not things like fundamentals or retail investors abandoning the company. Now, then we have a post from AV that discusses a post on my part 
in which I stated that we will continue to trade in a negative zone if AMC does not break a hold at 41.27. At some point in the future, AMC will need to retest this area, as shown by the new chart's uptrend dashed line. This is obviously a reference to his previous position of trading at 41.27 due to the zone. Later on, he states that we must re-enter the zone for AMC to experience a breakthrough. Now firstly, let's hear what you all think about that region in the comments section. Now, I believe that, in terms of upward pressure, that is a significantly greater level. The trend has already been established. If we are able to reverse certain tendencies, it will be a turning point for AMC. Now we must also recognize that prices have been modified, as this was previously the case. Nevertheless, AMC will undoubtedly experience a turnaround. ANC will undoubtedly have the upper hand. And if the price of AMC continues to rise, we will inevitably encounter certain levels of resistance and blockage. There will be various levels of strength ranging from weak to strong. But there will come a time when that level will be crucial. If we're able to surpass that, AMC will make another enormous jump. Now, as always, guys, none of this is financial advice, so make sure to conduct your own due diligence and study. But again, we're on the video, so let us know what you think about that and where you believe the turning point and level for AMC are. Let's have a peek at this big, massive rabbit hole that has been uncovered. Ict Opportunities, which owns 23 million shares and is located in the Cayman Islands, is therefore the ninth filing owner among the eight. In addition, we have the owner of Millennium Management LLC, who has approximately 24.5 million shares and whose firm is located in Griffin's building on 66 Fifth Avenue. Now, of course, you are aware that people are making assumptions about the relationships and connections underneath it. Obviously, there are numerous conspiracies. Now on this channel, we have discussed a number of times how a reflection can impact AMC and cause the squeeze. Along with the recession we are observing, we subsequently discover that Credit Suisse is bankrupt. Spreads on CDS continue to widen, indicating how costly it has grown to insure against this disaster. Bloomberg is distributing fake information in order to deceive investors. Credit Suisse's client confidence is at an all-time low, as their credit default swaps stand at 396.84. And naturally, we recognize that there is a big massive difference, a massive massive disparity. And again, you know, when compared to other companies on the list, such as Eurobank, etc., etc., this could possibly be problematic. As previously said, it is related to the recession. Goldman Sachs plans to eliminate up to 4,000 positions, or 8% of its workforce, as it fails to attain its profitability target. Consequently, this is the current state of the market. There are indications of companies making cuts. The cards have already been dealt for tech companies. We are currently observing banks struggling to make a profit, banks struggling to keep their jobs, etc. Consequently, this is something we must vigilantly watch for. And you guys, thank you for joining us, and be sure to watch the Sunday Outlook video tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time.